Well, good morning, boys and girls, and here we are. It's lesson number five of the Bible treasure hunt. All right, so last week, what did we talk about? We talked about studying God's word and being in God's word so we can learn and grow. Today, we're going to talk about being a servant. What is a servant? All right, that's what we're going to talk about. So um, God calls us to be a servant. He really does. He wants us to serve others. He wants us to put others before ourselves. And sometimes that's hard. So why don't you go get your Bibles and we're going to turn to the book of Luke 22 and we're going to read a few scriptures together um, this morning, boys and girls. We're going to start at Luke um, 22 and we're going to read 19 to 27. It's called the Last Supper. What does that mean? The Last Supper. Well, let's read it together. All right. Reading from Luke chapter 22, starting at verse 19. So here we go. He took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took another cup of wine and said, this, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people. An agreement confirmed with my blood which is poured out as a sacrifice to, uh, for you. But here at the table, sitting among us as a friend, is the man who will betray me. Oh no, that does not sound good. For he has been determined that the son, for it, sorry, for, for it has been determined that the son of man must die, but what sorrow awaits the man who betrays him? The disciples began to ask each other which of them would ever do such a thing. Who would betray Jesus? This is terrible. Let's keep reading. Um, verse 24. Then they began to argue among themselves about who would be the greatest among them. Jesus told them, In this world the kings and great men lord it over their people, yet they are called friends of the people. Of their people yet they are I'm uh, sorry verse let me read verse 25 again Jesus told them in this world the kings and great men lord it over their people yet they are called friends of the people but among you it will be different those who are the greatest among you should take the lowest rank and the leader should be like a servant who is more important than the one who sits at the table or the one who serves? The one who sits at the table, of course, but not here, for I am among you as you as sorry, for I am among you as one who serves. All right, so let's break this down and and let's re, um let's go over what we just read to summarize it, okay? So, in the story that I just read, there are two stories about Jesus in this passage. And very often, we separate these stories into two different messages. That's a shame because these two moments from the night when Jesus was betrayed and arrested tells us a lot about Jesus and what Jesus treasures, mo treasures most. What do you think that is, boys and girls? What do you think Jesus treasures? Yeah. I think it's you and me, eh? Let's keep going. Jesus begins by breaking bread and passing a cup of wine, what we call the Lord's Supper. The bread represents Christ's body, and you guys have probably done this before, um, taking communion at your church, at, uh, at our church. <laughs> and the wine represents his blood. Jesus tells his disciples to celebrate this supper in, in memory of him, Anytime they come together, he wants them to remember that he came not to conquer, but to lay down his life for them. Wow, that's huge. That's huge. We were bought with a very expensive price, weren't we, boys and girls? We really were. Let's keep going. But no sooner does Jesus tell his disciples this. They break into an argument over who is going to be the greatest in the kingdom. Can you believe this? The disciples arguing over who was going to be the greatest. 
Jesus had to be so frustrated with them. Very frustrating. Didn't they see what he just did? They Were they even listening? Were they even listening to what Jesus was saying? To be the greatest in God's kingdom means you must become the least. It doesn't make sense, does it, boys and girls? But this is Jesus saying this. We, we must become um, the less and put others first. Like Jesus, we need to put others first. Like I just said, true treasure seekers. We're on this, this Bible treasure hunt, aren't we, boys and girls? All right. So true treasure seekers are people who seek to be the servant of all. Anything else is just fool's gold. So we, we are called to serve. We are called to be a friend to people that don't have friends. We are called to give gifts to people that, you know, maybe could use some cheering up. We need to put other people first in our lives. And Jesus will honor you for that. Jesus paid an expensive, he died on the cross, didn't he? A very, very expensive price for you and for me. He did it for us because he loved us. And it doesn't make sense, but Jesus, he died for us. And so, boys and girls, I really hope that you can grasp that today. And every time we take communion at church, you know, it, it, we need to remember what Christ did for us on that cross. All right? I hope you can do that. So today, let's end with our memory verse. All right? We do this every week. Can you tell me what it is? It's found in Matthew 6, 21. For where your what? For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. All right, boys and girls, that was a lot of reading and that was a lot of listening. You you guys did a great job. Anyways, you know what? Be a servant, all right? And we will see you next week. And stay tuned. We have a visitor. Bye for now. Well, good morning, boys and girls. It is so nice to see you this morning. Chef Pierre here with another little word for you, boys and girls, this morning. So Mrs. Crozier talked about being a servant. Hmm. I'll tell you one thing. As a chef, I serve a lot of people. That's what I do. I cook and I serve people. And you know what, boys and girls? It is such an honor for me to serve people. Jesus Christ, he displayed that perfectly for us. You know, boys and girls... We were bought with a very expensive price, you know, and Jesus put us before himself. And you know what, boys and girls, we are called to put other people before ourselves. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So boys and girls, you know, I want to challenge you this week to do something nice for somebody else. You know, life isn't always about us, you know. Sometimes we can focus too much on ourselves, but God is calling us to serve one another, to put other people in front of ourselves. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that's okay to say because that's what we're called to do. And so, you know, as I prepare my luscious meals for people, you know, it just gives me great honor to be able to serve. So, boys and girls, I hope that you can serve and do something nice for somebody today or this week. All right, boys and girls, it was nice to tune in with you this morning. We will see you next week. Bye for now. Bye for now.